Hello and welcome to Clean Fiction Audio, where you can find wonderful reads for the quirky and discerning book lover. This audio version of the popular magazine focuses on the best reads that are available in audiobook form from both the Christian and clean secular markets. For even more independent and small press books, visit cleanfictionmagazine.com and check out our most recent edition. This week, we are focusing on the romance genre, and you will enjoy three reviews from our Clean Fiction reviewers. Contact information for reviewers featured in this episode can be found in the description. We hope that you enjoy these reviews and find your next favorite audiobook. A Clean Fiction Review by Kelly Barr of The Captive by Julie Coulter Bellin This book is a number one Amazon bestseller in military romance and a Roan Award finalist for Best Suspense. An American diplomat is kidnapped. A former Navy SEAL and the daughter of a notorious Algerian negotiator are sent in to rescue him. But when secrets are revealed, everyone's life is on the line. Former Navy SEAL Jake Williams is the newly appointed head of a task force assigned to rescue a kidnapped American diplomat. Their only hope is Maya Amari, the daughter of a notorious Algerian hostage negotiator, but she is full of secrets and complications, something Jake takes as a personal challenge. As they grow closer, the threat to the mission escalates and time runs out for the hostages. Can Jake unravel the web of deception to save them all without getting caught in the crossfire? Maya Amari has been in hiding nearly her entire life to escape her father's enemies. But when her sister is kidnapped, along with an American diplomat, she'll do anything to bring her home, including walking into the enemy's lair. She doesn't trust anyone, especially the too handsome for his own good Commander Williams, but when all her careful plans explode out of control, he's the only one she can turn to with the truth about her family. Is it too little? Too late? The Captive is part of the Christian fiction and action-adventure romance genres. This book is available on Amazon, as an ebook and paperback, and on Audible. The Captive by Julie Coulter Bellon is the first book in her Griffin Force series. It is the first book I have read by Ms. Bellon, but it won't be the last. The Captive is the story of a hostage situation. The hostages are an American diplomat and the daughter of a notorious Algerian hostage negotiator. Former Navy SEAL Jake Williams heads a task force to rescue the hostages. Joining the task force is another daughter of the Algerian hostage negotiator, Maya Amari, who will do anything to bring her sister home. Amid rescue plans that don't go as intended and flying bullets, romance starts to bloom between Jake and Maya, but they must focus on the mission. Action Action is a big part of this story, and it does include some intense moments. It is a story about a type of war between people of different countries and includes a hostage situation, so some intensity should be expected. But don't worry, the violence is kept to short scenes and is not graphic and there is no profane language. Adventure The adventure begins within the first three chapters, as the task force prepares to leave the United States to travel to Algeria. The adventure continues when Maya makes contact with her father's people, and she, Jake, and another task force member travel to another place in Algeria to meet with Maya's father. Later, they must travel to a cave in the mountains and then to another location as well. But all of this is in Algeria. Romance. The romance is electric, but is kept to short scenes and is clean. After all, Jake and Maya are on a rescue mission. No time to delve deeply into romance. Their main focus remains on getting the hostages out. Religion There is a hint of Christianity in Jake's life, but it is not deeply explored and is not the main focus of the story. Final Thoughts As a reader who enjoys a tense suspense novel from time to time, I must say I turned the last page of The Captive wanting to immediately pick up the next book in the Griffin Force series to keep reading, even though this book has a satisfying ending. I highly recommend The Captive by Julie Coulter Bellin to anyone who enjoys a story based on a situation that could happen in today's world and is filled with tension, suspense, danger, and excitement, with a bit of romance. There are four other books in this series. This book is rated P, Clutch Your Pearls. Grandma may raise an eyebrow, but keep on reading. For more specific information about this rating, visit the Levels of Clean page on our website. You can find the author, Julie Coulter Ballon, at juliecoulterballon.com. 
A Clean Fiction Review by Samantha Nelson of The Beholder by Anna Bright. Selah has waited her whole life for a happily ever after. As the only daughter of the leader of Potomac, she knows her duty is to find the perfect match. But after an excruciatingly public rejection, Selah's stepmother suggests an unthinkable solution. Selah must set sail across the Atlantic to visit a series of potential suitors, and if she doesn't come home engaged, she shouldn't come home at all. From the gardens of England to the fjords of Norgie, Selah's quest will be the journey of a lifetime. But her stepmother's schemes aren't the only secrets hiding below decks, and the stakes of her voyage may be higher than any happy ending. The Beholder is part of the historical romance and fairy tales and folklore genres. This book is available on Amazon as an ebook, paperback, hardcover, audiobook, and audio CD, as well as on Barnes & Noble as a nookbook, paperback, hardcover, audiobook, audio CD, and audio MP3 on CD. I was initially a bit skeptical about this book, since I was worried it would be more historical fiction, which typically isn't my genre. But the intrigue of a suitor selection intrigued me. However, the minute I started reading, I could barely put it down. This novel is an enthralling combination of everything I love about fairy tales, with the added elements of hard realism, heartache, political intrigue, and mystery. Action. You may think a suitor competition would have no action, but the author has put in a few tense moments and fights where they naturally fit the story. There isn't much blood and violence, and most of the fights are over quickly, but there is enough suspense and fear to make up for the lack of physical force. Adventure. I wondered how this book's plot would progress because of the timeline Selah was given, but the pace is rather slow. However, there is enough packed in these pages to make it worth your while. Selah's journey focuses mostly on her relationships with her suitors, her family, her crew, and herself. While she learns to be brave, though, there are pieces moving behind the scenes that slowly come to a head at the end of the book. I won't spoil anything, but politics does come into play, and the global ramifications of it are the focus of the sequel, which is also incredible. Romance Considering the plot is about Sela finding a suitor, there are bound to be several heroes to swoon over, and I was not disappointed. The author paints a story of Sela's love life with honesty, integrity, and creativity, and details how Sela falls in love one step at a time. It's not always a pretty picture, but it's a beautiful one for all Sela's perseverance, honesty, and courage. Plus, Sela's love interest is one of my favorite book boyfriends of all time, so that helps too. Religion. Sela has a Catholic background, so that is the primary religion in this book. There were just enough references to her faith, such as her praying every night, without it becoming a focus of the book. There are references to other cultural religions, but they were more myth and lore than practiced beliefs. Final Thoughts While I wouldn't call this a fairy tale necessarily, it's still one of the best fairy tale-like stories I've ever read. Its honesty and romance are almost unmatched, and I still love watching the ever-practical Salah take her journey over and over again. I would give this book a G rating based on the medium levels of romance, the mild action, the suspense, and some minor crude jokes. There is one other book in this series. This book is rated G, will make you gasp. Both eyebrows will be involved in reading this book. For more specific information about this rating visit, the Levels of Clean page on our website. You can find the author, Anna Bright, at annabrightbooks.com. This episode of Clean Fiction Audio is sponsored by award-winning author, Lisa Locks Christensen. Get ready for Lisa Locks Christensen's next courtly cottontails adventure, Happy Hibernation, Book 18, written and illustrated by the award-winning author. This book showcases Lisa Locks Christensen's original comic characters, The Courtly Cottontails, as seen in Clean Fiction Magazine published by Amy Lynn McConaughey. To order the ebook or physical hardcover, call 888 983 3085. Loose or matted art. Merchandise is available through the store. Happy Hibernation is also sold at Peacock Books Online at peacockbookswildlifeart.com. A Clean Fiction Review by Kelly Barr of Wanted, Vampire's Assistant by Dusty Rose.
She's scrappy in pure sunshine. He's a 1,000-year-old vampire. Together, they're magic. Ever had life kick you in the teeth after it shoved you down the stairs? Yeah, that's how my day was heading. And then I saw an ad in the paper that changed my life. Wanted vampire's assistant. Qualifications must include loyalty, sturdiness, flexibility, dependability, fearlessness, intelligence, and please no applicants that are prone to temper or fits of terror. Normally, I'd laugh at the absurd ad, but I emailed the prankster, Draven Leto, instead. People need jobs, Mr. Leto. Prank ads are not appreciated. I wasn't expecting to get a reply, and I certainly wasn't expecting for the ad to be invisible to everyone else on my floor. Then a self-proclaimed vampire with a voice that could melt honey called and invited me to interview for the position. And I accepted. Like I said, life-changing. Wanted. Vampire's assistant is part of the vampire romance, paranormal romance, and clean romance genres. This book is available on Amazon as an ebook, paperback, and audiobook. I will confess I am not one to read the typical vampire stories. But when I found Wanted, Vampire's Assistant by Dusty Rose, two things told me it's not your typical vampire story. One, the front cover, and two, the back cover blurb. So I purchased the ebook and am not sorry I did. When I opened the ebook of Wanted, Vampire's Assistant by Dusty Rose, the first thing I read was the preface, which clearly stated that Ms. Rose had not created a typical vampire story. In her preface, she talks about the Moonhaven Cove series, not just this first book. She states, A note for the series. To put it plainly, I wanted to create a series that was thin on angst and heavy on humor and lightheartedness. She also mentions that she struggled to find a book that she wanted to read, so she decided to write it instead. Ms. Rose did an excellent job of creating a story that is very unique and has lots of humor and lightheartedness. Her main female character, Mia, is lots of fun, and her fun personality affects all those around her, endearing them to the other characters as well as to the reader. Ms. Rose's character, Draven, is the vampire in the story, but he is not anything like the classic or typical vampires. As a matter of fact, Ms. Rose includes gargoyles, elves, pixies, werewolves, and other such characters in her book. And though a few are typical, most are not. She makes them much more human than otherworldly, and by that I mean in their emotions. There are lots of fun, light-hearted, and humorous scenes throughout the story as well. Many made me laugh out loud. I found the characters in Wanted, Vampire's Assistant so endearing. This was one of those rare books that kept me turning pages to see how things would end, but at the same time, hesitant to reach the end and say goodbye to these delightful characters that I fell in love with. I definitely will be watching for the second book of the Moonhaven Cove series by Dusty Rose. There were some danger and fight scenes in this story, but they were not graphic or too intense. Mia's life was endangered at times, but those scenes were not intense or graphic either. There were several mentions of blood, but they were not overdone and were written very tastefully. There was also some magic in the story, but it wasn't really dark or evil. Most of the magic was healing magic. I will say the romance did get a bit steamy in one scene, but it never crossed a clean line. There was no religion of any kind mentioned in the story. I found Wanted, Vampire's Assistant, Moonhaven Cove Book One, by Dusty Rose to be a light, fun, completely enjoyable read, and I highly recommend it to anyone looking for something fun and lighthearted that will make you laugh. There are two other books in this series. This book is rated P. Clutch your pearls. Grandma may raise an eyebrow, but keep on reading. For more specific information about this rating, visit the Levels of Clean page on our website. You can find the author, Dusty Rose, on Facebook under Sarah Lees.